Because I was out yesterday and would allow David Asman to talk about this ingenuity helicopter on Mars and leave it at that, well, think again. Uh, I'm not letting go of this because I'm just stunned and amazed by it. And the fellow behind it, Vishnu Sridhar, the payload systems engineer on the NASA Mars 2020 project. Uh, Vishnu, you're to be commended and you and your team on what you accomplished here. It's just mind blowing. Uh, but now what happens with this? What's the what's the game plan? Hi, Neil. Thanks so much for having me again. Yeah, so Thank yesterday you. we attempted and successfully flew the first rotorcraft, our air-powered vehicle, for the first time on the surface of Mars. And this is just going to open up a whole new um, generation, next generation of um, space exploration and also exploring off Mars because the rovers can't really drive to certain terrains or we can go to the polar caps. So having this rotorcraft, our air-powered vehicle, we're going to open the way to explore Mars in a whole new way. So it's really exciting and an engineering marvel that the team has accomplished. What's left for it to do, this John? I mean, there's obviously a, a short shelf life on this particular one. Could you explain? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the Ingenuity um, rotorcraft or helicopter, the primary mission, um, it's a technology demonstration. And we have actually never flown a rotorcraft on another planet. And the reason is because Mars is about 1% of the atmosphere to that of Earth. And also, Mars is very harsh. The temperature at night gets to like a negative 100 C. And um, it's a very harsh environment. So given all that constraints, um, we have actually accomplished and proven that we could fly a uh, helicopter on Mars. So for the upcoming days, uh, the next two weeks, the team is going to attempt um, to do more flights. Um, so the first flight, we just uh, took off, hovered at about three meter altitude, did a small turn, and then come back, came back down. So the next flight is going to be more aggressive, more um, like so-called helicopter-like. We're going to fly with the forward velo velocity. We're going to take images, more images from Ingenuity herself. And we're going to just test out how this helicopter is going to perform in the Martian atmosphere. So we're really excited to push the limits of ingenuity in the upcoming week. It's just staggering. I, I, I'm just wondering, in future missions, when you can do more maybe with bigger such devices or what have you, the applications are too many to list here. But one easy thing would be to survey much more the, the Martian surface than we've ever been able to do in the past, right? Yeah, absolutely. Like if you if you just look at here on Earth, um, drones have become very popular. We're using drones for so many different things, like cinematography, um, exploring uh, like agriculture, seeing how that's trending. So so air power vehicle just opens up a new eye to um, basically us as humans um, to explore any given. Um, any given area or any field that we're trying to explore. And with having now that we could fly on Mars, we're going to fly to regions we have never attempted. And future mission and proposals are going to use this, and scientists are going to use this to find ways to study Mars even better. And of course, this is going to teach us a lot of um, things like how we operate a helicopter on another planet. So that application and the things we learn can be transferred to a different planet like Venus or Titan or things like that. So it's really exciting. Incredible. It, it is exciting. You're a pioneer, uh, Vishnu. Thank you very much to you and your incredible team. Uh, Vishnu Sridhar, the payload systems engineer.